Ever since our early days on Dog the Bounty Hunter, people on Twitter and on Facebook started writing messages to me. They were stuck in a bad relationship and their boyfriends were beating them. They had a drug problem. They were kicked out of their house and they were pregnant teens. And I felt compelled to start helping them, so I just started giving them the best advice that I could. And it's my calling. My childhood was a lot different than most girls, you know, playing Barbie at home. It wasn't until I became much older that I realized what a rough childhood that I had, that I realized that everybody's parents didn't break up and that everybody's dad wasn't locked in the closet for six hours a day. At the time when you're young, you don't really realize the bad situation that you're in, but now that I've become an adult and I tell people my story, they're so shocked and amazed. I figured that I needed to get the word out about how just because something happens to you when you're young, that doesn't determine that you can be nothing for the future. Having the time to play with my kids is a lot of fun for me. I didn't have the regular childhood that a lot of other people had growing up, so having the chance to act out my childhood through my children's childhood is really important for me. I love going to the water parks, I love going to the park. You know, it's a lot for me because it's like experiencing it for the first time along with them. I recently wrote a book called Walking on Eggshells that really details what I went through in my childhood from abandonment to molestation to gang rape to teen pregnancy. You know, I've been through a lot of things in my childhood. I feel like it's my duty and it's my calling. Maybe it's from God or from growing into being the woman that I am. I know that this is what I want to do with my life. I want to help other people so that they don't end up in the situations that I was in and that they do have someone that they can look up to and say, Lisa went through that. She got through it. She's successful. Look at her children. They're not on welfare. You know that there is a hope besides going out and partying every night, you know? There is another life other than that. That's not going to get you what you want out of life. I really feel like just giving these girls a little bit of hope and a little bit of inspiration can change them dramatically because that's what happened for me.